Hey, you know who it is. It's the kid. With a box alive in the flesh, nigga. <laughs> but this is my reaction to the Aaron Herrera, Brandon Rios fight. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, Orale Arriba de Raza, nigga. <laughs> but yeah, man. Um, So, so Bam Bam left Robert G Garcia to train with Ricky Funes or whatever the hell you say that nigga's name is. First of all, congratulations, Brandon. He got he got Aaron out of there in seven seven rounds, body shot. I had, you know, I had Brandon. I had him winning every single round except for the what? Maybe the maybe the fourth round. So he left. Bam Bam left Robert to go with Ricky. I don't know why motherfucker still fights the same goddamn it, man. No head movement whatsoever. Hold on, let me say, let me say, first of all, I fuck with Brandon Rios. That's a funny, that's a funny ass, that's, that's a funny guy. <laughs> but that's besides the point, man. Shout out to, congratulations. Shout out to Rios for knocking Aaron out. But in my personal opinion, damn, Brandon, you ain't learning shit over there. You might as well stuck with, with Robert Garcia. This motherfucker hasn't improved not one bit. I'm not trying to diss you, Brandon, either. I'm not trying, man, but you, you move your head, man. And this was his first fight at the 147 division. Bro, you're going to get ate up. You're going to get ate up, man. The best Brandon Rios, man, was, what was it? Either 130, 135, or, or 140. There's too many big dogs for you up there, Brandon. And the way you're fighting, the way you're fighting right now, and if you fight against them, them top tier boys, oh, it's going to be, it's going to be ugly for you. Like, imagine if you're using that same style, no head movement. Against Keith Thurman, he's gonna punish you, man, to the point where you might you might die, baby. You know what I'm saying? To me, the way Brandon wins all his fights, he has to outwill you. If he has more will than you, you're gonna lose. Especially if you don't have any uh, technical skills. You know what I mean? But he was <laughs> shout out to Brandon. He was catching this boy Aaron with right overhand rights, right uppercuts all night, all fucking night long. And, and me personally, I think Aaron's a better fighter. Fuck it, I said it, man. He has better legs, better combinations, better speed, better technically. He just Brandon just outwilled him. You know what I mean? What like in the fourth round, Aaron hit this nigga with a with a four punch, four left hooks in a row. Motherfucker looked like look like Roy Jones Jr. Boy, he he if he would have boxed him, gave him that 2001 Floyd Mayweather treatment, used his legs and stick stick move on the Negro. He would have won. He would have won easily. That's just what I think, nigga. That's what that's that's what I believe. To me, Aaron Herrera is a better fighter than Brandon Rios. He just got sucked into Brandon Rios's game. That muck, that motherfucking Mexican go to war type style. You know, it's a shame, man. And because he was, what's it called? He uh, he just had a three win, uh, three knockout. Three knockouts in a row, three wins. He just came off a three-win streak, all by knockouts. And the last time Brandon hopped in the ring was against what 2015 Timmy Timmy Bradley, Desert Storm Bradley. That's a damn shame, Aaron. I uh, see you lucky. I'm not training you. We would have we would have danced all night on Brandon Rios. You know what I mean? I mean you were hitting him with some you you were you were you were laying the wood on that nigga. You were hitting him with some clean shit. You were hurting him too, nigga. Damn, Aaron, baby, you you. You have skills, just stick to the game plan. You let a flat-footed, slow-motion Brandon Rios take you out in the seventh round. You, you should have won every round, man, because you, you 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 had better legs, better hand speed, better combinations. Your power was there, too. I think your power was, is decent. So what the fuck, man? What was your record? 32 wins, 21 by knockouts, six losses. Here's, this is your seventh loss, baby. You, you're good, Aaron. You just, I don't know, man. To me, you, you're Latino, right? But you're slick. You need to fight in that black, that black style. You know what I mean? Stick, stick, move. And then when you feel like you can get him, bang with him in the trenches. But yeah, man, to me, this is a loss Aaron should have never taken. I think he's a better fighter all around. He just got sucked in a sucked into Brandon Rios' game, man. And Brandon, I don't know who you're going to fight next in the 147. I don't know, man. Fuck it, nigga. I don't, did Chris Algieri? See, Chris Algieri's about my height, man. He's too big. 140s. You're a little Brandon for the 147 class. I hope you do well in it. I don't know who's in this good. 
Should put 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 Rios in there with Lucas Matisse, two brand new uh, fighters in the welterweight division. Put that one together, man. That'd be a good one. That'd be a real good one, man. Even though I think Lucas would dust him, I think he dust dust that pussy for real, for real. <laughs> Yeah, throw Brandon Rios in there with Lucas or Kalaza. I always like to say Kalaza because he's he's like the super gatekeeper. You know what I mean? Fuck it. I don't know if Andre Berto retired, but hey, throw him in there with Andre Berto. You know, I think Andre would whoop that ass. But but like, uh, who's that motherfucker? Who's that motherfucker from St. Louis? He hasn't fought in so long. I forgot the mother. You know what I'm talking about? That 147. He always screams when he punches. Dang, what this, what's that nigga? He got a little pea head. <laughs> what's that nigga? He got fast hands but no power. Who the hell? What the hell is his name? You know, what the fuck, nigga? You know, man, this is, I'm gonna sit here and think of it till I get it right. What the fuck is his name? What is his name, dog? I don't know, man. I'm the, I, I won't guess it. I won't think of it, but. Congratulations, Brad Rios, baby. You did your thing, man. You knocked your nigga out with a body shot in the seventh round, man. That shit was clean, baby. That shit was clean, baby. That shit was clean. I'm trying to look up this motherfucker's name. Wait a minute. Wait, wait for me right now. Wait for me, baby. Devin Alexander, that's the move. Put him in there with Devin Alexander because I don't think Devin can hurt Rios, but I'm pretty sure Rios can hurt Devin. But Dev, Devin's gonna stick, stick, move, jab, jab, and get with the program on that neck. You know what I mean? But I'm glad to see Brandon back, man. Just work on your head movement, baby. Because you still get, you still, you're like Frankenstein. Frankenstein, you'll walk towards somebody and just tee off on you, man. And then and I'm just looking out for your health, baby, because you do that against somebody like Keith Thurman or. But damn, Earl Spence. I don't know if you can go home to see your little your little baby girl and, and your and your wife, man. And I'd hate to see that, you know. But c- congratulations, Brandon Rios. It's good to see you back in the game. But man, drop down, man. I think that one forty. To me, I don't think I, I don't think one forty seven is your is your weight division. Go down to like the one thirties or the or maybe one forty, somewhere around that range. I know you like to eat, nigga. You like to eat like me, man. It's so hard to watch your diet, man. I fuck up every day. You know what I mean? I weigh like 170, 177. I'm trying to get down to like 155, 160. Because when I get down to that weight, you know what? I'm ripped. Ripped to the socks. You know what I mean? I like getting ripped because you know why? Pussy, pussy starts treating you a little different when you're ripped. <laughs> Pussy starts treating a brother differently when you're ripped. You know, nigga, you don't have to have any game. You don't have to have any game, man. Just, just stay in there, mean mug. You know, and, and and the pussy starts to come on in. Starts to follow you like pipe piping. I'm talking about baby. <laughs> pussy starts to follow a nigga like pipe piper, nick. You could take that to the bank, but you can't be no ugly ass nigga. Cause I'm handsome, you know what I mean. I just got got get ripped. That's it, man. That's it. And put it and just just shut the fuck up. Cause if I if I open my mouth, I might fuck everything up. So 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 if you're handsome, all you gotta do is get ripped and shut the fuck up. And the pussy will start marching your way like pie pie a nigga. <laughs> wow, that's totally off topic. Hey, better reels, baby. It's good to see you, man. He was using his jab a little bit more this fight too. Uh, he looked totally different. Well, not really different. This is like the, the stereotypical Brandon Rios, man. He was he was inside fighting, getting hit. I called the Brandon Rios the the AKA the Rocky Balboa style. You remember when he he asked Max Kellerman if he was a punching bag? I'd have been like, hell yes, nigga, you a goddamn punching bag. But it is what it is, man. Brandon Rios, I hope you. I wish you the best of luck, baby, and. Keep doing what you do, motherfucker. It's the kid 50 cent young bucket G, G-, G-, G- you Nick. <laughs> man, it is what it is, man. I, I don't I don't know. I don't watch the uh the post-fight interview because 
Oh man, shout out Brandy Rios after he knocked the dude out. Man, he he jumped on the top ropes like he was the rock. Nigga started screaming. Much love, brother. I understand where you're coming from. Cause I do the same shit. You know, but congratulations, big Brandy Rios back in the game. God damn, brother, why'd you take two years to get back in the, into the groove of things? I guess some fighters need it, you know. But yeah, man, Brandon. I know you. I don't. I don't know what the problem is between you. Well, I don't think you and Robert Garcia and the Garcia family have issues. But man, you look the same, man. I thought you were supposed to work on your head movement, nigga. If you're listening to this, do that, man. You'll you'll be you'll be a, you'll be a good little fighter at 147. You'll be a good little fighter. <laughs> you'll be a good little gatekeeper, baby. But it is what it is. I mean, you know my slogan: get with the program and get your head blown off. It's what a boxer. 